وسلم This is the only message from Darwar Ali Muhammad Ali Gashi and I like you all to join me in showing our esteemed guests how we send salutations to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam As-salatu was-salamu alayka ya sayyidi ya Rasulullah As-salatu was-salamu alayka ya sayyidi ya habibullah As-salatu was-salamu alayka ya sayyidi ya Rasulullah As-salatu was-salamu alayka ya sayyidi ya habibullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasallam Your Royal Highness Hazrat Qibla Peer Sahib Your Royal Highness Hazrat Qibla Sahib Zada wala Shan Respected and esteemed Shaykh of the Naqshbandi Tariqa Shaykh Qabani Sahib Esteemed scholars of the true faith of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam Distinguished guests, brothers and sisters in Islam and in Tariqat, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. It's a great honor and a privilege to be speaking to the family of Darbari Ali and Muhammad Ya'id Sharif in the presence of their Royal Highnesses celebrating the day of an incomparable personality, Hazur Qibla Allah Sani Paak Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi. On that day, when all else fails, I would like to record my presence here in the court of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sallam and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and plead forgiveness that I on this day was here celebrating the life of the best person I ever met in my life. A number of years ago, I wrote a few words to express my love for Hazrat Qibla Allah Sani Paak Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi. I'm not meant to read all those words, but as a mark of respect and a mark of my attendance here, I'm going to read two verses. I am now addressing my Shaykh, Ya Shaykh, Ya Alayhi Rahma, Ya Paak Allah Sani. Beloved son of a masterful Sani, grandson of a great Bani. You put abundant love and respect in my heart. Charity, compassion, fairness in every body part. Thought, patience, understanding and reflection. You counsel to precede every word, every action. You are my goal, my inspiration, every aspiration. You are my spiritual standard, total admiration. Your writings teach me. Each day, your example guides me. Your memory fills me. Your presence completes me. You live in my heart. You direct my life. You are in my memory. A true Naqshbandi saint without comparison in all of history. Ya Shaykh, I declare my deep, true, pure love for you and hope in the next life once again to be with you. Today, I remember you alongside with my family. Today, we remember you. We honor you. We pay tribute to you. We celebrate your exemplary life and say thank you for accepting us, preparing us, keeping us, teaching us, for lifting us, and for protecting us, and for enriching us. Accept my presence here today, Ya Allah. In the name of your beloved Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam, Strengthen my connection with my beloved Lasani Park. Guide me in his example and lead me to Medina Park, inshallah. That was the first part of my message. The second part, for me, is equally important. And the words I say to you are mine. But I say those words to you in the presence of my great ones and your great ones. And if, and if they, they accept, accept my words, words I, I hope in some way that everybody in this room can accept my words too. There was a time when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was a hidden treasure. 
He wanted to be discovered. And we know through the teachings of the Bari Ali and Muhammad Yaid Gashrif that before anything else, he created Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. They live and they continue to live as they choose fit in the home that we call Madinatul Manavara. And at a time of their choosing, in accepting the love of our great Bani, they instructed and guided Hazur Qibla Bawaji Sahib Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi to establish the Bari Ali Muhammad Yaid Gashi, a need of the, ta of the time. More than a century later, our present Hazur Qibla Peer Sahib instructed and ordered us to form an organization to continue and take forward the work of the Bari Ali Muhammad Yaid Gashri. I was one of the people who was selected to perform a number of duties amongst esteemed brothers, people far more educated and far more rich in spirituality and far more rich in wisdom and guidance than myself. We were given a task to establish an organization. And upon the instructions and the name chosen by Azul Qibla Peer Sahib, we formulated an organization called Mankind Welfare Trust. As we began to work for this wonderful organization, it became a dream of mine, my personal dream, that within my life, if we could work together, and that is the only requirement here for us to work together, if we could actually work together, and if we could help so many people across the world, that if our financial turnover was one million pounds within my lifetime, I would have considered myself and my fellow trustees as being successful. What I didn't realize, and before I say that, I was thinking with a worldly brain and with a worldly heart. What I didn't know was that I was a mere servant in this cause and in this caravan of love that we call Dirbari Ali Muhammad Yaid Gashri. What I didn't realize was that organization that was started with the blessing of Azul Qibla Peer Sahib. There is no limit to how big it can grow. By 2013, and I haven't shared with this with many people, officially or unofficially, so I will excuse myself from the officials and will stop any chatter afterward because I'm responsible to those officials. The work that we do in the organization, the message from today, is that work that the organization does is to support, the, is to support all the work that the Bari Ali Muhammad Yaid Gashim. In essence, we spread the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. The work that our shiur of the Bari Ali Muhammad Yaid Gashim carry out throughout the world, we are responsible for supporting all of that work. I would encourage all of our brothers and sisters to take these leaflets that we have prepared. There is ample information about the work that the Rabari Ali Muhammad Yaid Gashrif does with the support of Mankind Welfare Trust. I would like everybody here, every brother and every sister, to take a leaflet, to take this other leaflet, and to take this little card that has the salvation that we will, that we will benefit from in this world and in the world hereafter. It has as salatu wa salamu alayka ya sayyidi ya rasulullah as salatu wa salamu alayka ya sayyidi ya habiballah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam It has all of the information that we all need to be able to support and work alongside Mankind Welfare Trust to support the work that our shiuk of the Bari Ali Muhammad Ya Idhika Sharif have done for centuries and will continue to do for centuries to come. I would encourage every brother and every sister to support that work and to support Mankind Welfare Trust into the future. If anybody wants to contact us, all of the details are on these leaflets. I will finish as I started.